Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. Did you have a good day today? Excuse me? Did you have a good day today? Yes, I had a good day because um I had um so much work. A lot of work, Blanca. A lot of work, okay. Okay. And you finished the work? Yes, I finished in the 6 p.m., 6 o'clock p.m. Okay, good, at 6 p.m. Mm. What time do you start working, Blanca? What's... I I I working in my house in the barber shop. I mm. I cut the air, the what well, no, the men. Okay, good. Hair. Hair. Okay. Good. And where is your barber shop, Blanca? Mm. In my house. In Santa Ana, in oh, San Miguel. In, mm. in Arcatao, Chalatenango. In Chalatenango. Okay. Yeah. And your does your family live in Chalatenango, Blanca? Yes, I live with my father, mother, husband, sister. Everyone in Chalatenango, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Well, I am happy that we have uh, a couple people here. We are almost ready to begin. Before we begin, do you have any questions? Anything you didn't understand? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Everything is clear for me to try things so. Okay, good. Anybody else, Any any questions? No. Okay, good. That means that everybody understood the class from the last couple. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Now, in this case, yesterday we finished on 3.11. Remember the difference between will and would? Mm -hmm. Remember, is uh, I will have. And when you offer is, would you like? These are the, the main difference. Right now, we're going to listen for details. So listen and take notes of what you hear. We're going to listen to the conversation. We need to find out what is Rex's order and what is Hannah's order. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right, one coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh. What kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or... I'll have some of yours. <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. 
All right. So what did Rex order? Coffee with cream and sugar, a piece of apple pie. Okay. A piece well, of apple pie, that's right. Yeah. And what about Hannah? A chicken sandwich, French, French fries, iced tea. Good. French fries. That's right. Okay. Very nice. Super easy, right? Easy to identify what they were ordering. Well, let's take a look at, before we go on to the midterm exam, are there any questions about unit one, two, or three? Any activities that you didn't complete or you don't have the correct answer? Well, teacher, for me, I think that uh, I have to put in, fact, in practice everything according to the, the objectives of the units. So I think that the this uh, unit are so a little bit easier than the another one. And I think that I have cleared the idea according to the, the four skill of the, the English. Okay, all right, good. Nobody has any questions about the unit then? All right. The chair. No, excellent. So that means that now we are in the midterm. The midterm has many sections. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. As you can see, many different sections. In section A, it's about listening like the one we just did. You listen for the, you listen to the audios and you answer the four things, okay? What are they talking about? We're gonna check the conversation. Information one, what does the woman say? Information two, about the man. Three, some recommendations. And number four, finally, what do they mention? This is for part A. And part B is put this, all of these letters in the correct order. This sentence is not in the correct order. So the idea is put all of those in the correct form. Letter C is what is the correct vocabulary? You read the sentence and choose the best word to complete them. The same, only for exercises. Letter D is the models, should, shouldn't, or can't. Only read and select the best option only three questions. Letter E, you can see is about what is the problem that they have. If you have a fever, what is the solution? The sunburn, the solution. So what is the recommendation for each of those problems? Letter F is using the vocabulary, for example, bottle, jar, pack, or tube, to complete the conversation, what the pharmacist is going to tell you, right? Or what is the customer going to order at the pharmacy? And the last part is a reading. You read this and then you answer the questions. What do those words mean in the context? So you look for the words in the context, make sure you understand and then decide what is the meaning of those words. Any questions about the instructions? No was. Okay, great. So I think is to do all of the activities, we're going to have, uh, I think 25 minutes is enough for all of them. And then we can come back and check to make sure that it's clear and that all of your answers are correct. Okay. Let me take a look. Who is missing?
And Raquel, did you have some problems? Hello, teacher. Hello, Raquel. You have like three connections. Fíjese de que estoy teniendo problemas para conectarme. Mm -hmm. Y al momento que usted nos manda para las, los grupos, mm -hmm. Este solo me queda así como conectar, conectar así en negra la pantalla y no me conecta, no, no entro en ninguna sala. Uh -huh. Entonces tengo que volver a conectarme nuevamente. Ok, vamos a intentar de nuevo. Okay. Si está teniendo el problema de internet, eso es muy probable porque no te deja ingresar. Uh -huh. okay. Vamos a ver. Hi. Hello, Jonathan. Hello. I have problems with my network internet. I'm no. sorry, too late here. No problem. Let's try to connect to the group. Let's see. Raquel, could you connect? Still the problem, huh, Raquel? Raquel.
Yeah. And number two, the man had a great vacation in Paris last July. Last July. That's right, the number, the number two. Yes. The number three, you shouldn't miss some of the museum in Barcelona. What? Sh you shouldn't. You? You shouldn't miss the number three. Okay. You can't travel. You can't. Porque, porque you can't travel by subway late, late at night. No puedes. There uh -huh. are no trains after midnight. Ah, okay. You can't. You can't. Ajá, tan tarde, ya, así es cierto, no, no, no había traducido lo último, no, no trains after midnight, ok. Three, in Hong Kong, the weather is best in the fall, you go there then, you should, you should go there then. Sí, yes, veamos, ok, everyone are correct, next. Sí. Match the problem with the advice, the induced information to write conversation. Okay. Intrusion, problem con el consejo. Okay. A fever, use a hearing pad, see a dentist, take some aspirin, try this lotion. Number three, take some aspirin. Okay, a sunburn, requemado. Use a hearing pad, see a dentist, take some aspirin, try this lotion. Number four, Number four, try this lotion. Uh -huh. Sore muscles. Use a heading pad, see a dentist, take some aspirin, try this lotion. And okay. number one. Uh -huh. Use a heading. Eh, fiebre. Creo que ya no va a sacar. Diga. Fiebre. Ah, fiebre. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por eso digo que es take some aspirin. Sí, está bien, take some, take some aspirin. A sunburn es un, bro, un bronceado. Sería. Es así, no sé qué es. Sunburn es broncearse. Entonces sería. Try this lotion. Así es, try this lotion. Luego, sor moscos. Sor, es sor el dolor, va. Uh -huh. Sería. Sería use hearing, hearing pad. Hearing pad. Ah, eh, sí, es hearing pad. Es como, use and hearing pad. Ah, es que es como, como una, venda, una venda. Ajá, de las que ponen, ¿verdad? Para cuando hay un dolor. Así es. A touch, a touch, a ese es un dolor de diente. De diente, ok. Ajá, sí, sí a dente. Así es. Tot, tot hech. Así sería tot hech. Porque uh -huh. diente, dolor de diente. Ah, pues está bien. Mire, lo, hoy sí okay. lo logró. Sí, <ríe> salieron bien. Interesante. Type is too expensive for me. Yeah. yeah number, number two. two. Mm -hmm. Okay, I chose that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. New York City is a very exciting, exciting but it's... Number three, stressful. Stressful. Yeah. Lisbon is an interesting city and it's... Lisbon... I think it's so noisy. Is um, like a Las Vegas, I remember. The number two is beautiful. Nice. Or least beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, that's right. And 
Tokyo is, is a safe city. It's a safe city. It's clean too. Clean, clean, clean. So, so. My hometown is very, very, it's very ugly. Ugly. Mm -hmm. However, let's try. Mm -hmm. Ouch, it's not ugly, it's not clean. Let's see, yeah, this is beautiful. So Number three is crowded. Number three. Crowd. Yes. And the number four is relaxing. The number four is relaxing. Yeah. Number four is relaxing. Okay, go ahead with the number four. Number four, my my home. Can you read, please? Home. My hometown. Hometown is Ham. pretty boring. Yes. It is very, it's very relaxing. Relaxing. However. Relaxing, however, that's right. Yeah. That's right. You got it. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead with the number four. Yeah. Complete the sentence with should with the models. Should, should, shouldn't uh, or can or can't. I try. Yes. <clears throat> Go ahead. You should say you should uh, or should come show the cosmic possible with the seven. La, la, la número uno no tengo ni la menor idea vos. En ways is a regular pay for a job. Okay, people who work in this place often get paid low wages. Okay. Number two, please. Happy or satisfied? Annoyed or bothered? Okay, the number two is happy or satisfied. Okay, number three, depend, depend on, be the same as, change according to. Change according to. Mm -hmm. it, but, but, to be honest, I don't understand. O sea, como que da, da la palabra y es como que a qué se refiere, como. No sé, behavior, a way of acting, a way of feeling. Let's see, a, a way of feeling, right? Como comportamiento, no acting, acting. If, uh, for example, wage, a uh, regular pair for a job, uh, como no sé el significado, pero. Ajá. De un... la, del, del, del número uno, wave, wave. Ajá. Es como, bueno, yo. I will point out for a key because it's not thing one. This is a key home power regular. This is a so significant. Mm -hmm. Happy or something. Vamos, veamos. Uh, yeah, yeah. Working balance. One dollar for parking a car. Open uh -huh. door attendants. One or two for getting a taxi. Hotel mains. One, two, five per mm. night. That's it. Taxi drives. Fifty percent of the bill. Wow. More if they help you with bags. Waiters and waitress. Uh, Fifty to twenty percent of the bill. There is no tipping in fast food restaurants. Babers, babers or hairstyles, 50% of the bill. 
Ok. Veo lo siguiente. Está bien. When you're not sure about how much to tip, do what feel right. You don't have to tip for bad service and you can give a bigger tip type, creo que es, for very good service. Remember how your behavior is more important than your morning. Always treat service provides with respect. Está bien, va. Ok, entonces. Um, Sería. Reset. Char. Here's a of cocoa. The number four is a pack. Pack? Yeah. A number two, yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah. The next one. With the article, then check for things people suggested to write as you do. Uh, you can see your... Says. Can I read it? To tip or not to tip? The word tip comes from an old Indian slang where that means to give is both a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and air saloons. People who work in Sorry. this place, uh, work in this place, often, often offering often pay low wages. Low wages. Show the that the customer is pleased with the service. Sometimes it's hard to know, know how much to tip. Besides, it usually depends on the service. People such as parking spots or well hubs usually get more tips. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiters and waitresses is usually longer here and a few killings for typing in the United States. Hey, porters or order the logs one or two dollars for covering each suitcase. And for parking a car, hotel or for getting a text. Yeah, it's information. Compare. Stages uh, where you, when you are not sure about how much to tip, do what feels right. You don't have to tip for what service, and you can give a bigger tip for very good service. Remember that your behavior is more important than you always treat service providers with respect. Number one, wages. Well is regular pay for a job, tips receive for your wages. Tips, tips receive, receive for a job. Regular pay for a job. Wages. Vitamin C. Vitamin C, that's right. Vitamin C, take one every take, day. Take one every day. The number one is bottle. Bottle. That's bottle. right. Take this bottle of vitamin C. Take one every day. That's right. Wonderful. Number two. Could you read, can, please? Can, can I have something? Something? For, something for the skin. For dry skin? For dry skin. Dry. I do, I suggest. I suggest. I suggest this of hand cream, a pretty soft to apply some every morning that's right 
try hard. Yard, I try. Pero lo, lo chistoso es que no me ha escrito la gente inglés corporativo que me ponga el día. <ríe> ya me ha confiado. Tengo la exercise. One, two, three. Mi derecha. A bajar el día entonces. Ok, ya. ¿Qué onda? Ajá, Juan. Hi, teacher. Hello, oh, hello. Teacher. Hello. Okay. We, fi uh, we finish. I know, I listen, I listen. Eh, ellos, ah, okay. escriban, ellos los escriben el día jueves, que es mañana. Escriben mm. cuando es el mitad de curso, para acordarte que el día de mañana tiene que estar ya con la unidad 1, 2, 3 y el midterm. Ok, teacher. Pero creo que okay. en general... Escriben directo al WhatsApp del grupo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Bueno, en ocasiones sí he recibido mensajes personales, pero ya me, había, me, me asusté ahorita porque vi que no, yo no tengo avanzado, pero voy a, uh -huh. voy a avanzar entre ahora y mañana, entonces. Uh -huh. para no, no el, el del grupo, del personal, sí, no sé, pero sí sé porque del, del grupo, porque veo que cuando caen los mensajes para el grupo en, en sí, para todos, pero ajá, normalmente ajá. lo hacen el segundo jueves. Y después lo hacen en la, creo que la, la última semana lo hacen el día lunes, algo así. Ellos, no sé cómo la calendización de ellos, pero eso es cuando lo hacen para estar seguro que la gente no se vaya atrasando. Me imagino que el jueves, para aprovechar que la gente tenga descanso el primero de mayo y que lo hagan, ya tienen tres días para hacerlo. Ajá, ok. Uh -huh. Listo, entonces. Bueno, pero, aprovechando. Ajá, este... exacto. Mm -hmm. I had a question with tell me, Juan, tell me. Okay, let okay, give me a seconds. I'm mm -hmm. going to, to search the the words that I can that I don't know the meaning the meaning. Let's see. For example. What is the meaning teacher of of wife? W A G E S. Let's take a look. Spell it. Okay. Uh, w A G E S. Wife. W A G E wages. Wages. Ah, wages. Wages. Uh -huh. Okay. What uh -huh. is the meaning? Ah, uh, is that is for the money. Okay, it's for the money, okay? For example, when you are talking about what? Your salary. Ah, okay. About my salary, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I understand now. Okay. That's the only question, teacher. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. Let's go, let's check then. Let's go back and check. Okay, now let's check to make sure and if there are no mistakes and to see if you have any questions. Number one, what is information one? The beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded. Okay, not crowded. Crowded. Okay, good, not crowded pronunciation, good. What about number two? The men had a great vacation in Paris last July. Mm -hmm. The man has a great vacation in Paris last July. Good, good. Number three. You shouldn't miss some of the museum in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. 
And number four. Victoria is both safe and clean. Safe and clean. Let's double check. Yay, excellent, excellent. All right, good job. Now let's take a look at number two. What would be the right way? So Seoul is a really fascinating city, mm -hmm. number one. Okay, great. Number two. Peru is an extremely interesting country. Okay, Peru, an extremely interesting country. Number three. Taipei is too Taipei is expensive, expensive for, me. for me. Okay. I'm pure. Oh, look at that. Amazing. 100 again. Great. We are doing a great job. Okay, now what was the correct word for New York is very exciting. It's stress, stressful. But it's okay. stressful. Exciting but stressful. In Lisbon? Beautiful. 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 Okay. Tokyo? Crowded. Okay. Crowded. Crowded. Crowded, right. correct. The pronunciation. Well. And number four? Relaxing. Relaxing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, remember, how do you know the answer? It's for the connector. But is for opposite. That's and true. for the same ideas. Though, different idea. However, is for all opposite ideas. This is how you know if it's uh, correct or not correct, depending on the connectors. It's the roots. Yes. Okay. What about letter D? Let's take a look. The models should, shouldn't, so on. This city can be dangerous at night. No, you, shouldn't. You, shouldn't. you shouldn't stay out too late. Huh? Like at Salvador before, right? Yeah, one year ago. Before the red yeah, exception. one year ago. Now, like my, like my neighborhood. <laughs> mm. Yeah. But, but now it's better or no? Yeah, I think so. It's Me better. Too. Me Sometimes too. Better it's than so yesterday. Safe. Yes. No it's perfect. better. No perfect, no, but no. better. Mm -hmm. It's not all. It's not all, but but I think that it's it's okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. What about number two? What's number two? Can't. 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 You can't, can't travel can't. by subway late, late at night. There are no trains after midnight. Okay. Like in El Salvador. Uh -huh, exactly, no trains. <laughs> uh, no, not bus at midnight. No buses too. Uh -huh. Yeah. No at, buses. A, at 8 p.m., the, the bus left. That's it? You, 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 have, not, to you have to take Uber. Mm -hmm. You have to walk. <laughs> you have enough money. Mm -hmm. You have enough money, you can take you uh, walk. Uh, Uber. So... Mm -hmm. Okay. What about number three? What's number three? Show. Show. Good. Pronunciation should. You should. Should. You should. 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 Uh-huh. Very nice. Look. Should, can't, and shouldn't. Super easy. All right. Let's go for the next one. A, B, C, D. Good. Here. A fever. What do you do for a fever? Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Good. A sunburn. What is a sunburn? Quemadura. Uh-huh. From the sun. When you go to the beach and then you are red. This is the sunburn. Mm-hmm. What can you do for a sunburn? Repeat. Try this lotion. Ah, okay. Try this lotion. Number three. Try this lotion. The same. Use a hidden pad. Hidden so pad. Number three, try this lotion. And number four, try this lotion. No, no, no. No, no. Number or three is... Number one, use ah, a hidden pad. pad. Okay, okay. Try. Uh-huh. 
Good. What about number four? Or a two take. Okay. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> That's for right. Two take. See you down. Okay. Uh, yes. Or visit my grand or visit my grandma if you had a two take. Uh, why your grandmother? What does your grandmother my, say? My grandma have an ancient an ancient pills. Hmm. Okay. As we can see, all of the answers are the correct ones. That's right. All of those are correct. Almost finished. Letter F. What did the pharmacist say? Mm-hmm. What's number one? Blanca, what's so, number Sorry, one? teacher. Number one, what's number one? A bottle. A bottle, okay, good. Number two. Jar. A jar. Okay. Number three. A tube. Okay. Good. Number four. Pack. Pack. Hmm. Okay. A pack. A culture of. Let's take a look. Hey, it's okay, all the vocabulary? All of them are correct? Any questions? No. No all worries. Right. Do you listen or no? Yes? Yeah. All right. Good. Hey, the reading. A lot of vocabulary yeah. reading. What were the wages? Regular pay for a job. Correct. Uh, like the salary. It's like, like a salary. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Normally, the difference is wages is usually in the other countries, not in El Salvador. Because in the other countries, you receive money for hour. And here is for the day. Here is for the day or for Maybe. the month. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What about number two? Happy, happy or satisfied. Satisfied. Good happy pronunciation. Satisfied. satisfied. Right. Happy satisfied. or satisfied. Happy or satisfied. satisfied. Good. Number three? Change, change according, according to change, change according. according to change according to great number four. What is behavior? Way of acting. A way of acting. A way of acting. Mm -hmm. And treat. Act toward. Okay. How you treat people. Okay, good. And number six, respect. Courtesy. 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 Good. Courtesy. Courtesy. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. Super nice. We have all of the answers, all of the reading. Now let's take a look to make sure there are no questions from here. In the reading, are there any words that were confusing or words that you didn't get that were not clear? Bell hops. Bell hops? Yeah. The people that work in the hotels. Like motors. They take your bag to your room. They show you the room. Oh, it's like a customer. Like botija. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's like botija. Like a picket blind. Or, or... Oh. botija. <laughs> Did you hear? <laughs> the person in the hotel that help op 
the one that similar open your door, but they help you go to your room and things like that. Any other words? Guidelines. Here are a few guidelines. Yes, guidelines are general ideas, like the rules. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Plan. Repeat. Plan. Plan. In the first line, English slang. Ah, slang, it, good, old yes. English slang. Mm -hmm. So it is the idea slang is the common expression, not the correct word, but the common expression. It's okay? Yeah. Common expression um, for what? For the words. So a common expression that you use for in El Salvador, what do you use for children? You In El Salvador, we don't say children, we say insects. Bicho. Uh-huh, this is a slang. You yeah. look in the dictionary, in the dictionary, it does not exist. It's invented by Salvadorians. This is the slang. But it's it's like, common, like, but it's like, or, like ordinary word, teacher. But yes, it's an ordinary word now. Mm -hmm. So right. tip is an ordinary word for the right. word you mean to give. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's normal in our country mm -hmm. to use the slang vocabulary. Uh -huh. It's normal for us. Yeah, it's in every country. Every country has slang. It's yeah. normal. <laughs> Any other words? Okay, let's listen and practice. Nazario, the first paragraph. Jonathan, paragraph number two. Rodrigo, paragraph number three. And then we're going to have um, a, somebody else. We'll see in one moment who can do the other parts. Okay, oops, maybe too big, there. That's right. Okay, Nazario, is that okay? I'll make it a little bit bigger. No, 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 that's it's right, okay. it's okay. okay. The word tips come from an old English slang, word that means to give, it's both a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. Okay, thank you. Well, people who work in these places often get paid low wages. A tip shows that the customer is pleased with the service. Okay, great. The next? Sometimes it's hard to know how much to type. The size of the type usually depends on the service. People such as parking, pallets, or envelopes usually get smaller tips. The tips put people such as taxi drivers and waiters or waiters is usually large. Here are a few guidelines for tipping in the United States. Okay, good. All right, let's take a look. Who's next? Who's next? Uh, Vivian, go ahead and continue. Okay. Uh, airport porters or hotel bellhops, one or two for carrying each suitcase. Good. Remember, pronounce dollars. One or two dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. One or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. Okay. Mm -hmm. Parking ballots, one dollar for parking a car. Hotel door attendants, one or two dollars for getting a taxi. Hotel maids, one, two, five per night. Oh, sorry, sorry, one, two, five dollars per night. Mm -hmm. Taxi drives, 50% of the bill. 
more if they help you with bags. Waiters and waitre waitress, maybe no sir. Yes, waitress. Waitress. 50 to 20 percent of the bill. There is no typing in fast food restaurants. Berbers or hair stylists. 50 uh, percent of the bill. Good. 15. Okay, 15. Great. Thank you so much. And Blanca, can you finish, please? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when, when you're not sure about how much to, to tip, do what feels right? You don't have to tip for bad service. And you can give a bigger tip for very good service. Remember, George, you, how do you say be, be, behavior? Behavior. 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 Your behavior is more important than your money. Always trade, service, pro, providers. 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 providers with respect. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Well, before we continue, making sure all of the vocabulary was okay, yes? No, teacher. Wait, waitresses. When you go to the restaurant, the person that gives you your food is the waitress for a woman and a waiter for a man. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, what do you mean about the good lines? About them? Good or, yeah, good lines. Good lines. In the Guideline. parable. Ah, guidelines. Yeah, guidelines. Yes. Guidelines is the rules, the idea. For example, how much to tip is here one or two dollars is a guideline. It's an idea like in El Salvador. In El Salvador, it is usually 10% is the guideline. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, we, are in, we are in trouble in our country with the tips, teacher. Do you think? I, I, I think so. Okay. Because some people is annoyed when the tips is in the, in the bill. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. Yes, I think it's because in Salvadorian, the tradition is not to tip. Right, mm -hmm. yeah, it's true. Right. And this is why it's not correct. So the easiest, no question, automatic the tip. That's right, it's true. Mm -hmm. Any other vocabulary? Okay, in that case, let's go for it. So what is your opinion for tipping? Do you tip? Do you don't tip? Do you think it's correct, not correct? Tell me. I think that is correct, teacher. Yes. Uh, it's, not it's not according to the service. I think that the last part on the, the graph of the paragraph say that you have to do like you feel. If you feel that that is so good to give a, a bill, or a, a, a tip, it's okay. You have to do. It's not. A, it's not for a good or for a bad service. You can do. I think so. Okay. All right. So Nasario says, "Is for how you feel." Okay. Anybody else? When you it's go to for mm -hmm. motivate a good service. Okay, to motivate good service. Anybody else? When you go to the restaurant, how much do you tip? One dollar, two dollars, or depend the bill? 
Depend. Depends on bill. Ten percent. Ten percent. Ten percent. Okay. What about in other places? For example. But it's, but it's not exactly. It's it's, it's not only. It's not exactly ten or twenty percent. It depends. For example, sometime I I go to Pueblo Campero, and mm -hmm. I and I drink only a cup of coffee with a with a bread or fresh potatoes, and I spend maybe five dollars. And and I and it's not good to to leave the, the tip for fifty cents. I think so. Okay. okay. It's not according to the to the bill. To the, I think so. It's my opinion. Mm -hmm. What about in other places? For example, in the supermarket, when the boys they put your bag, your groceries, they take with you or they help you or I don't know. Do you? One dollar. Huh? One dollar for. One dollar. One dollar for the supermarket. Okay. Because they don't have salary tissue. I, I think, think so. I think they I, don't I have think, salary. I think so. They don't have salary. I don't know if it's true, but I, I heard that they don't have salary. That's right. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is the most you have tipped? And you say, wow, the, the bill was very high or the service was excellent. What is the most that you have ever tipped? And why? Five dollars. Five dollars. Why? It's according to my back teacher, to my wallet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's according to my wallet. Mm -hmm. For a, for example, when I go into a restaurant and the singer sing a song with my favorite, and, and for example, he play amazing. Yes, it's according because he know a salary, only a, a tip. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's very common, right? In many places for the live music, they they go and they go many times for the tips. Okay, good, good. Good point, good point. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the idea to stop the tips and have only good salaries no have because in this moment the idea the tips is bad salary to help the person but why not stop the tips and have good salaries what do you think a bad customer service this is a good so, idea they should i think so mm -hmm. but but jonathan no jonathan says maybe not maybe not have good customer service no, but you say that if the people have uh, a great salary, mm -hmm. time it's not necessary that the, the, the tip. This is your, your this is your question. Yeah, for example, in some countries, some countries, no, no tips. Japan, no tips. I think for a good salary, both for both. For both. Okay. That's right. That's wonderful. Because in the United States, they have good salary and they have tips too. And they have tips. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's well, wonderful. Well, guys, thank you so much for connecting. I'm glad that we finished the exam. As you can see, now we finished the midterm. One, two, three, and the exam. So that means that you have to be complete with everything. If you are not complete, you have this weekend to complete. But tomorrow we begin the other topics. Okay. With the unit four, did you? With unit four. Yes. I'll try. All right. Thank have you. a nice night. Good night. See you have tomorrow. a nice night, classmates. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. See you tomorrow. Have a nice night, everyone.